Hey Brett, there's a hole behind you. You might want to watch when you throw. Oh, oh no, I'm not. A, that's not a big deal. I said it wasn't gonna be a problem. It's a problem. Ooh, nice little dance there, buddy. You can't talk like that on YouTube. Screw that pole, man. Oh, jeez. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. How are y'all doing? So I am getting ready. This is what I'm doing. I'm getting ready to go smack some fish. Ooh, that was really bright. Sorry, I shouldn't have turned on that light. I just went and grabbed the camera because I wanted to do my intro here um, because I don't know what it's going to be like in the morning, how crowded the boat ramp's going to be, anything like that. Me and Chris are actually going to uh, the river in the morning. Um, early, early in the morning, we know we're going to have to compete with... Uh, Basically folks in tournaments. We know the ramp we're going to is going to have a lot of boats in it. We're going to try to leave the boat ramp or try to get to the boat ramp just as they're leaving. So that's our plan. But we pretty much we're pretty much junk fishing right now. Like I've got everything tied on. I've got top waters as a put like walking baits, popping frogs. I've got spinner baits, jigs, chatter baits, crank baits, worms, drop shots. It straight up is that time of year right now when we're going from the summer to the fall transition that those fish are just scattered everywhere. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a mess tomorrow. I don't know what we're in for. We're hoping to smack a couple good ones, but you never really know. So again, it's gonna be a lot of junk fishing. We're gonna be throwing a lot of different stuff. I'm sure we're gonna be talking some just ridiculous stuff. Um, me and Chris always do. I'm gonna to try to edit in more of the ridiculous stuff that we talk about while we're fishing. Maybe, maybe we can get on a pattern. That's my, that's my plan is to try to find a pattern, but it is so hard to pattern in this time of year. So basically, if you're out fishing right now, or you've been fishing for the last couple weeks, and you're sitting there telling yourself, this is ridiculous. Everybody says fall is supposed to be better than this. It'll get there. You just gotta give it time. It's the summer to fall transition when you've got those cold fronts coming through and it keeps putting those fish in shock. That's what's causing you trouble right now. It's what's gonna cause us trouble. We're gonna go try to put some in the boat, show you how to do it, and um, let's go. Here we go. Try to break it down, Chris. We ain't done this in a minute. Like actually just fished without a objective other than, hey, let's go catch some fish, let's break it down. This hook is way too big, but we're gonna go with it. Do what? Light bar, what are you talking about? The light, where the boats can see you. Oh, oh, no, I'm not, a, that's not a big deal. It'll be gone here in a minute. Yeah, why not? It's in the morning, you got that nice little fog over the top. I mean, I think, I don't know what the water temp is, but. Huh? 69. Buddy, you can't talk like that on YouTube. YouTube channels out there talk about how to literally. What were you looking for that that popped up, bud? I don't remember. Exactly. Yep, I hear him blowing up. Gosh. I said it wasn't going to be a problem. It's a problem. No, it didn't break me off, but I just caught it. Screw that pole, man. What a mess this is now. Oh, jeez. Hey Brett, there's a hole behind you. You might want to watch when you throw. Where at now? <laughs> oh, okay. Ooh, and I was so convinced I was about to get bit too. I did snake bit. Need a bit. 
reels that heat up. Invent heated reels when you hold them, it makes your hands warm. That's an idea. Or get get ready for this. It's even got a name. Okay. We don't put it in the reel. We put it in the rod. We call them hot rods. Okay. Put a lithium battery right here in the butt. You can charge them, right? We're right here is all heated. That's what I'm saying. I mean, you've got the palm right here. I think it still help. It help with your fingertips. But well, we'd name them hot rods. That's not a bad idea, Chris. As long as you had a quality rod, I think people would buy it. But it'd still have to be a balanced rod. That'd be the problem. That that lithium would add just a little bit of weight. It would keep everything away from the bend of the rod. I think it'd work. That's what I'm saying. You put you put like the battery in the butt, like right back here. Yep. Hot rods. Swap into the wormy. Oh. Yeah, it's a bite. Whew. Got him in the bottom lip too. Alright, got him on the worm off the dock. Little guy fat. Starting to feed back up for uh the winter. Thanks, little buddy. Ooh, nice little dance there. You got it. Spot. That one definitely is a spot. He going. Got him. A little largy. Dude, you've had issues, huh? I bet your friends call you Cletus. Look at your jaw, man. Like it's not lined up. You had your jaw broken a long time ago. Don't know when it happened, but I hate it happened for you. All right. Back in the water you go. I am actually going to change worm colors. Because I'm not catching a bunch of them. I'm going to go to a smaller worm. Because it's not like I've been catching big fish. And we're going to go to old red bug. See if that helps out the cause a little bit. Yep. Spotty spot. They're all about the same size. They're all little. So two spots, two largies. They're all itty bitty though. What do you think? Like maybe 12 inches? About 12 incher. I don't even know why I try to cheat on red bug, but I do. Every now and then I try to throw a different color thinking, hey, maybe. Another small one. The pace has definitely picked up a red bug. It's a miracle. It's a fish. It's a monster. Got one. Got two. Good uh oh. Not really. Not really a nicer one, but a fish. Dude, do y'all get any bigger out here? Surely y'all do. I know y'all do. I've seen some of the bags from this lake. They're big. We're just bink catchers. Well, guys, that was, uh, it wasn't a bad day. I mean, we caught some fish. They just were not big. Uh, Chris, we never figured out a pattern, but. We lost the wrong boat. We, <laughs> we, 
What boat should we have brought? The Dink Express. We should have brought the Dink Express, you're right. The Dink Express would have been way more appropriate for today. The fall transition is absolutely real. Um, they're kind of in disarray right now. We tried to graph over a couple spots, never really found anything. Um, so we just started, I mean, from the beginning we were kind of junk fishing. We were just throwing stuff that kind of made sense, trying to find something, and never really established anything. I think I got like, I don't know. Six or seven. I got a good handful in the boat. Chris got a few in the boat too. Wasn't a bad day. Now we're going to go home. We're going to watch a little bit of football and enjoy the rest of our afternoon or our weekend. Guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button for me if you don't mind with the ding dong notifications turned on and uh, leave a comment below. What is it like on your body of water right now with this fall transition? Have you found them yet? Um, are you on a good pattern? And if so, what is it? If you don't mind sharing, let everybody in the, the bee fishing fam know what the pattern is. Chris, you got anything else to say to the folks? Roll Tide. That's, well, that's, that's, that's for dang sure, Roll Tide. I think we're back on it. We got a high powered offense and our defense is stout this year. One of the few teams that actually looked polished the first week of college football. Y'all have a good one, we'll catch you on the next one.